<laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Sparring's 20 and welcome to Blank Express. Finally, it is done. I have returned. Hooray. Aren't you excited? I'm back. Hooray. Anyway, um, things are going to be happening now. Um, and I've got some updates. So, very important things. So, if you want to hear those, then go ahead and skip to the end of the video. But, if you don't want to know that, then, I don't know, skip the end of the video. Anyway, let's get started. Chapter 2. A Helping Huff. Knock, knock. Just a second. Twilight yelled from inside the library. Oh, hi, Rainbow. Hey, Twy. I was, uh, wondering if maybe you wanted some help with whatever it is you're doing? Rainbow asked shyly. Uh, sure, I guess. Twilight said. You're not still mad about earlier, right? What? Me? Mad? <laughs> that, that couldn't go... You mad that you couldn't go somewhere with me? Rainbow said with a laugh. So, you're not mad? No, I'm not. But you, but you do, but you do still have to make make it up to me. Oh, uh, okay. Twilight said with a blush. So, can you run this over to Sweet Apple Acres for me? Huh? Rainbow said, somewhat out of it. Can you bring this book to the farm? Twilight said, while floating a book in front of her. Applebloom said she needed it. Oh, yeah, be back in a flash, Rainbow said as she grabbed the book and flew out the window. Yes, Rain Rainbow thought to herself. She blushed when I, when I said she had to make it up to me. Maybe she really does like me. Rainbow... Bleh. Rainbow constantly went over the moment in her, in her head. The effects of her first love making everything seem even more amazing. Of course, since Rainbow was busy... F focusing on twilight, she didn't notice the farmhouse rapidly approaching uh, over the horizon. Thud. Ow! <laughs> nice line there, Rainbow. Applejack, Apple, Applejack shouted from between laughs. Oh, shut up! Ram Rainbow shouted back. So, what bring? So, what brings it? Blech. Can't read today. So, 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 what bring what brings you, what brings you here, at this hour? Applejack Applejack asked, as Rainbow landed, still rubbing her head. Twilight said Applebloom wanted this book. Oh, uh, oh, well. She's over in the treehouse with her friends, Applejack said, as as she mo bleh, motioned towards towards the orchard. But <clears throat> but why are you delivering books at Twilight? Ah, uh, you know, ah, uh, uh, no reason. I just thought I'd. Be an awesome friend, Rainbow said S suspiciously. Oh, really? Yeah, just me being a good friend, Rainbow said with a nervous laugh. She started to s she started to sneak away as Applejack stared at her, attempting to figure out what was going on. Thankfully, Rainbow was saved when Big Mac. Came out of came out of the house to get her his sisters. Dinner time, Big Mac shouted as he rang a bell. 
Looks looks like you gotta go. Well, I'll see you around, Rambo said as she quickly dashed off, trying to escape Applejack's stare. Yeah, see you around, Applejack said to herself as she watched Rambo fly away. I wonder when I wonder when Twilight's gonna give me that book, Apple Bloom said as she rested her head in in her hooves. Yeah, we need it so we can find out our find our out our cutie marks, Scootaloo said. <laughs> you mentioned a book. Rainbow Dash. Uh, what? You mentioned a book? Rainbow Dash! Scootaloo shouted as she ran towards her hero. Hey, kid. She quickly rubbed Scootaloo's head. Twilight said you wanted this book, so, uh, here it is. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Thanks, Rainbow. Scootaloo said happily. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, thanks, Rainbow, Apple Bloom said as she grabbed the book. Wait, why are you get why are you giving me the book? Why you get why are you giving me the book? Why why does <laughs> why does everybody care about why I have the book? Rainbow said as she stormed out of the clubhouse. Can I just be doing it for as a friend? Rainbow's out. Rainbow's outburst caused Scootaloo to jump back, su surprised as how her idol was acting. Apple Bloom just stared at Rainbow in confusion as she flew away. But unknown to them, Sweetie Belle was sitting in the back corner, laughing. She knew what was causing Rambo to act this way, but she swore to her sister that she wouldn't tell anybody. Rambo was flying away, nearly nearly fast enough to create a sonic rainbow. She was angry at every pony for trying to figure out why she was helping Twilight. It's only a book. It's not like I was going doing something really important. Rainbow thought to herself as she got closer to the library. Act act cool. You can't let Twilight know about it. I'm back, Rainbow announced as she landed in the library's main room. When Twilight didn't answer, Rainbow bleh started to worry. Was this book delivery just so she could shake, shake me off? Was What if she's already seeing somebody? What if she ran away so she didn't have to? Welcome back. Sorry I was... Sorry. I was just making some tea, Twilight said, causing Rainbow to jump. Oh, oh, okay, I thought, Rambo said, staring, starting to feel embarrassed. You thought what? Twilight asked as she brought out the teapot along with two cups. Tea? Uh, sure, and it was nothing, Rambo said, as she accepted the, as she accepted the teacup. You sure? You sure? Because you're acting kind of strange. Yeah, I guess I am. Rainbow trailed off, worried that she might have just screwed everything up. <clears throat> maybe you're, maybe you're just tired. If you want to, if you want to, if you want, maybe you're just tired. If you want to. You can go home and get some sleep. No, Rainbow suddenly shouted. No, 
It's fine. I can keep working. Oh, well, in that case, Twilight said as she pulled a scroll out of, out of nowhere. Can you help me with this? Sure. It doesn't seem so tough. Rainbow said, Rainbow said happily as she no as she noticed how tiny the scroll looked to be. Good. <clears throat> who knows who knows how long this might have taken taken me if I was all by myself, Twilight said as the scroll unfurled unrolled causing Rainbow's jaw to drop. The scroll had seemed like it was only a small amount of things, but once unrolled, it was a massive list of chores, odd jobs, and pointless n n nitpicking. How the... Rainbow muttered as she looked at the list as it, as it continued to un unravel. Sorry, I used a shrink it scroll. I used a shrink it spell on it so I could save space. Twilight said bashfully. Well, we might as well get started now. We're, now where? Now where to begin? Holy horse apples, Rainbow said as she fell to the ground. That took forever. Yeah, but at least it's done, Twilight said, using her magic to reheat her tea. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to head home, Rainbow said as she made her way to the door. See you tomorrow. Okay, see ya. Twilight said, as Rainbow flew away. Oh, oh, what's this? Twilight looked down to see one of Rainbow's feathers on the ground in front of her. I've never seen a Pegasus feather before. Blah, blah, blah. I've never seen a Pegasus feather on its own before, Twilight thought to herself as she picked it up. I wonder if there's anything I can do I can learn from this. Twilight quickly pulled a, out a book on Pegasus history and read up on their feathers. In Pegasus, in Pegasus tradition, a single feather is given to a, Pe a Pegasus' closest mate, Twilight said to herself. If the feather is accepted, the mate places the feather in her mane, in their mane, Twilight, Twilight stared abs, absently at the feather, unsure of what she was going to do now. Would Rainbow, would, would Rainbow find it weird if I put it in my mane? I wonder if she, she she'd get mad at mad at it about it. Oh well. I'll think about it tomorrow, Twilight said, as she made her way towards her bedroom. Knock knock. Hey Twilight, you in there? Rainbow shouted up towards the library window. When Twilight didn't respond, she flew up to the balcony to see if Twilight was inside. As she landed, she heard a loud thud come from inside. Rainbow quickly flew in into the door, bashing it open. When Rainbow came inside, she saw a purple hoof sticking out of a pile of books in the middle of the floor. Twilight, Rainbow, Rainbow shouted as she quickly pulled on the hoof, hoping that Twilight wasn't seriously injured. Hi Rainbow, what are you, what are you doing here? 
Twilight asked as she got to her hooves. Are you okay? Rainbow said frantically. Yeah, I just got distracted and I ended up dropping the book some myself. Twilight said while rubbing the back of her head. Oh, Rainbow then realized what what distracted her. Sorry. It's fine. Twilight, Twilight said shyly. Awkward silence, apparently. So, uh, what's up? Rainbow said after a few minutes. Nothing much, just doing some more chores, Twilight said, as she began to pick up the books that she had dropped. More chores? I thought we got got them all done yesterday, Rainbow said as she flew in front of Twilight's face. We did, we did finish that list, but I, uh, let me guess, you have more of them. Yeah, ugh, Ram Rambo groaned as she smacked her hoof against her face. She quickly looked around for any signs of a list and noticed a small scroll sitting on top of a bench of books. Bunch of books. Rainbow quickly pulled open the scroll, only to find it ex expanding like the scroll yesterday, and it was just as long. Sorry, Twilight said sheepishly. It's fine, Rainbow said as she looked over the list. Well, then, well then, let's get let's get to le let's get to work. You're still going to help, Twilight asked. Looking at the feather, the Twilight asked, looking at the feather out of the corner of her eye. Of course, I said it would help you, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I guess you did, Twilight said as she shook her head. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, Rainbow, Rainbow cheered as she stared, started... Rainbow cheered as she started to pick up the books on the floor. Okay, yay, I finally did a freaking fanfic reading. Aren't you guys so, so, so happy? Anyway, um, updates, updates, updates. Um, I am planning a special thing since we just got to 1,000 video views, and if it's not out for 1,000 views, it will be out for 20 subscribers, so um, let's hope we can get something worked on and done by that time. Let's just hope we can. Anyway, um, I recently got banned from SquirrelNet, so no more, uh, we're no longer working with SquirrelNet at all <laughs> not even any contact so um yeah anyway um things should be getting back into full swing now we should be getting back and doing stuff and awesomeness is going to be happening again soon so i hope you're ready for that because it's gonna happen awesome stuff prepare for it i'm sparring 20 this is Barney express have a nice day